Hey guys, it's Eric with the Miller Park Minute where we're throwing strikes and getting likes, hitting dingers, and getting listeners back again. This is part of the opening day spectacular for the Miller Park Minute podcast. We are doing videos on top of videos on top of videos probably through the weekend uh, till Monday. So guys, check those out. Uh, remember to like and subscribe to the channel. We throw strikes, we get likes, we, we hit dingers, we get listeners, we're here. Every day, every day we produce content. Uh, today, we're doing a special look inside the pitching lab. Uh, this comes from a Milwaukee Journal Sentinel article. Uh, basically, we're going to talk about the mystery of the pitching lab and what happens behind those doors. Um, so one of the big things is this is a uh, a little hidden nook at the American Family Fields of Phoenix. Uh, to take a quote right from the article, they say, take a turn left out of Milwaukee Brewers Clubhouse at their spring training complex, then hang a quick right, head down the hallway about 30 paces, stop at the double doors on the left, walk through, enter a room that doubles as a state-of-the-art facility where Brewers pitchers are sent to hone their craft. It's called the Pitching Lab. The secret behind the Brewers pitching pipeline. So basically what this is 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 a room where they go in, they study the craft of pitching, they study their effectiveness. Uh, Corbin Burns has notably said that he studies effectiveness of each pitch, um, and this is all honed from that pitching lab. Corbin Burns possibly was one of the best examples of this in recent history. He went from being a horrible pitcher, um, one of the worst that we had, um, that kind of threw him all over. It just didn't work out for him. And then he went on to win a Cy Young. So it's become a staple of the lexicon. Um, You hear Adam McKelvey, Tim Dillard, all these people mention it, especially on the Brewers podcast, uh, the official podcast. It is all over. So what they do is they basically take guys in there and they work on their performance, transitioning them to better pitchers. that's where you can take a guy like uh, a Peter Strzelecki and a Hobie Milner, and you may, you find them success. Um, untapped, untapped potential, they get them in the lab. Um, so they spend some time with them. They analyze the pitches. They look at their stuff. Um, from what I understand, there's state of the, basically a lot of state-of-the-art technology in their computers. Um and and all the pitchers do it. It's a it's a it's a big secret. Brandon Woodruff responded. I don't know if I can give away all the info. Uh, it's just it's it's funny because it's kind of like their secret. They don't they don't want to tell us too much about it. Um. What is the pitching lab? So the pitching lab, uh, basically it nestles right up against the right field corner uh, of the big league stadium in the um, spring training concourse. Um, Shoot, when I first started, uh, it was by the batting cages outside. I was throwing bullpens in 40 degree weather with my sliders on. So basically they go into this room, they they pitch, they they warm up. They use the analytics of the computers and the data and they they see what they need to tweak, where the tweaking comes in. Uh basically there's there's like a line and get a, they get assigned a 15 to 20 minute session right in the beginning of spring training where they, they work out the stuff that they need to work out uh, for bullpen sessions. Brewers pitching staff members set up two iPads and one in front and one behind the pitcher and have edge tronic camera up to capture the slow motion mechanics grip spin. There's a large television screen that displays pitch mechanics, force vectors from the pitcher's movements, 
and a full 3D skeleton image of their mechanics. Just beyond the mound are some basic weights for lifting. It's literally the most simple stuff, said Brandon Woodruff. You think it's rocket science. It's not. Don't let that ruin the mystique, though. Jake Cousins brought an umbrella to the parade. For the average fan, it probably seems crazy to them, Cousins said. I mean, it's pretty cool. The pitching lab mount is synthetic rather than dirt because the plates underneath it measure how much force the pitcher pushes off and lands with. The plates require the same level landing surface for each pitch. If it was made of dirt, it would have to be leveled after each and every pitch. So pretty high-tech stuff that they're using to... Um, they use their trainers instead of spikes. Uh, it's pretty normal, uh, very particular, of course. So they 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 basically study and mathematically calculate and use all the computer science that they can. Um, but it's a very simple process, as the players have told us. And and, it, and the primary purpose, like I said, the, with Corbin Burns, they 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 try to make them most efficient. They want their pitchers to maintain their health, but also still pitch effectively and get the best possible results. So that they they measure results of each pitch. One of the big things with Corbin over the years is he's now measuring the result of each pitch where if it ended up where he wanted to, the effectiveness is what I was talking about earlier. Um this is this is super important. Um, and it's just getting into the fine, minute details that's really helping them revolutionize how they're pitching. Mechanics, body, every little piece of that is important. Um, they don't go into a lot of depth into exactly what every piece of equipment, what the aim, um, or what the what the purpose of each piece of equipment is for. Um but the aim is to be able to track data from the Bruce pitchers during the season. Um, so they want to know basically if your if your timing is off, if your spin is off, if you're if you're putting a different arm angle on the ball, um, to make sure that you're you're maintaining health, but also maintaining your pitching mechanics, uh, which is big. And they use the high speed cameras, the slow mo, all of that. Uh, this is all stuff that's readily available and technology that's readily readily available to everyone, but it's it's huge for the brewers. Um, and it's it's produced this rotation that we have, you know, where you're looking at Freddie Peralta, Corbin Burns, a Brandon Woodruff, uh, Eric Lauer being really effective. A lot of these relievers um, have used it over the year. Are the Brewers still ahead of the curve with the lab? It's unclear how many other teams have similar technology on their technology or their own lab but the common refrain from the brewers who spent time with other organizations is that none of them replicate the complete pitching lab experience that the brewers do so they're a little ahead of their time with this technology which is which is very important um so that that kind of gives you an inside and an edge to what we're doing differently than everybody else now i want to see how it works with all these these unknown bull, bullpen guys, the Gus Varlins of the world, the Joel Piamps, the, you know, these guys that we, we don't know to the, are new to the organization. I want to see how they come in and how they, they pitch. Um, we've seen it work well for Brandon Woodruff and Corbin Burns and Freddie and all these guys. And I hope that it really, for the 2023 season, really gives us a great, um, great outcome. I mean, some of these, these, Things are just going to be better out of nature. But I also think guys fine tuning. Can Corbin Burns be better than Corbin Burns already is? I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Starts tomorrow, guys. All right. That's all I got on the pitching lab today, guys. Just another mystery, another piece of why this 2023 Brewers 
rotation and bullpen and the team is going to be so good is this pitching lab credited right here. So little known secrets of the game. This has been a Brewer Fanatic special edition episode of the Miller Park Minute. Remember, the podcast is on every morning, 5.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Apple, Spotify, YouTube, you name it. It's down below. We are now on Rumble, so check out those videos, guys. As always, go Brew Crew. We are like 16 hours away at the time of recording. Let's do it, guys. 2023. Let's get it. Thank you for watching the Miller Park Minute. Go Brewers!